In this video, we will be studying the second type of series that is your frequency series. See, your frequency series are of two types that is your discrete series or you call it as frequency array or the frequency distribution. That is your continuous series. See now, uh, what is frequency? The first question arises what is frequency? See, let's suppose there are 10 students who got 30 marks. Exact 30 marks. There are some students who got uh, 36 marks. There are two students who got 36 marks. So this is your frequency. The number of times an item occurs in the series. 30 comes 10 times in the series because there are 10 students who scored 30. 36 comes 2 times in the series that is 36 is scored by 2 students. So frequency is, it is the number of times an item occurs or repeats itself in the series. Right? Second thing what we will understand is the class frequency. Now when we say that the marks scored from 30 to 35, the number of students are 2, the marks scored from 35 to 40, the number of students are 10. So, this goes on this way. So, this you call as your class frequency. That is the particular, the number of items. Uh, times an item repeats itself corring, corresponding to a range of value is called the class frequency. The number of item uh, times an item repeats itself corresponding To a range of value or class interval is called class frequency. Now this is your class frequency. 30 to 35 is your class and this is your class frequency. The other term that comes is the class interval. See, this is your class 30 to 35, then 35 to 40, this is the class. Now the difference between them is of 5 numbers. So this is your class interval. So here we have learned about frequency, class frequency and class interval. Now let's understand what are telling bars. See, for one number you write this. For two you write, you make two. For three you make three, four. And when you have, there are five times an item occurs, that is this. Again you will start with six, seven, eight, nine, then ten. 
eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So this is how you these are called as tally bars. Let's suppose you have to write that these are your marks obtained. That is ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, thirty-six, and the frequency. Frequency means the number of students who have got ten marks is four. The fifteen marks five. Eight, five, four. Means these marks are obtained by these many students. Four marks, uh, four students have obtained ten marks. Five students have obtained fifteen marks. Eight students have obtained twenty marks. Five students have obtained thirty marks. Four students have obtained thirty-six marks. So this is your marks. This is your frequency. Now let's make tally bars. One, two, three, four. For frequency, we make the tally bars four. One, two, three, four, and we do five like this. Then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. So these are your tally bars. The first series that we will be talking about in frequency series are the discrete series. Now, what are your discrete series? It is that series in which data are presented. in a way that exact measurements of items are clearly shown let's understand i am giving you 20 students data of marks of class 10 20 students data of marks of class 9 these are the marks 11 12 14 11 16 11 17 18 19 20 14 then 20 17 20 let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so these are your 20 students mark see this is your individual c it is giving simply it is given the data is given to you now you have to convert it into discrete series what do you see 11 is coming how many times see 1 2 3 so the is there any marks below anyone having marks below 11 nobody so you are starting with ascending order from 11 Then the marks is twelve. Do they have any marks in thirteen? No. They have fourteen. Then anyone have marks fifteen? No. They have sixteen. Then seventeen. Then eighteen. Do anyone have marks nineteen? No, nineteen. Then only twenty. And are anyone above twenty? No one. So the discrete series we have made the series that no. Only marks are from these many. Now we write the frequency, the number of times the student is getting this mark. 
11 marks are uh, obtained by 1, 2, 3 students. 12 marks are obtained by 1, uh, only 1 student. 14 marks are obtained by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 students. 16 marks are obtained by 1 and 2, only 2 students. Then 17 marks are obtained by 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 5 students. 18 marks are obtained by 1, only 1 student again. 20 marks are obtained by 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4. So the number of students were 20, so you add this, you will get 20 students. But what we have do, done? We have summarized the data. Now we can draw the telly bars from it also. 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 1, then 1, 2, 3, 4. So in this way we can also draw the telly bar. So this is your discrete series. This next series is the frequency distribution of continuous series. See, when your items cannot be exactly measured, then these items are assumed to be in some range value and we put those items into the range value. Now let's see, we have the marks. Obtained from 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, then 35 to 40. This, in this you call it as continuous series. It contains a difference of 5. Which means you're from 10 to 15, those who are getting, you are including them into the one category. So these are the classes, or you call it as class intervals. This difference between them is known as the class range or class height. Then you have frequency, means how many students are in this class, comes under this class. Let's say 4, 5, 8, 5, 3, 6. So this is known as the class frequency. And we can also draw the telly bars of it. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we can easily draw the telebar. So in this way, this is your continuous series or the frequency distribution series. I hope you have understood. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.